boss. He's coming to kiss. Armitage? You've seen them, haven't you, son? I, you can tell me. Seen who? General Gerling. He said at a Luxing plan in a screaming fist case. We have to be aware of that. Armitage, wait. You can't let him take us down again, son. What's he talking about, man? Uh, General Gerling was this guy who set up this mission back in the war, Screaming Fist. Armitage was just about the only survivor. They were sold out by the Pentagon, and I figure Wintermute's been showing up as Gerling in Armitage's head. Not as bad as it sounds, brother? Could be, if Armitage thinks he's on the wrong mission. Hold the fort, cowboy. And the change of perspective. Molly on girders above some automated workshop. Okay. I know where to go. Just... Her leg hurting. Waves of potential pain. Not too bad so far. More a memory. That scene with Ashpool. I was expecting something a little less gone, you know? I don't like the way it looks, Case. And I don't like the way it smells. You and your dead buddy. Keep a very sharp lookout for me. Okay? <clears throat> I am terminating the mission case. Corporal, you coming in? Terminate and break. We will acquire the Russian gunship and break through. Now you hear me, man? You hear me? Is there anybody left? Your boss man is very left? strange. This is this is some Babylon war. I've been talking to the elders, man. What do they say? Cut and run. You know he's crazy. Founders say, Wintermute is a false prophet, surely. We're going to abandon this mission. Yeah? What about me? You come back to Zion with I. Oh, man, I don't know, man. I mean, she's inside. You know, Molly's inside. She's in, she's in Straylight, and that's what they call it. If there's a Babylon, man, that's it. You know, step and raise her or not, we leave her, she ain't coming out. She is your woman, Kiss? I don't know. Nobody's woman, maybe. Oh, look, screw this. I'm staying right here. <laughs> hey, hey. Malcolm is a rude boy. Garvey is Malcolm's boat. I'm not running from Babylon. I steer too. Back in the Matrix. The Quang has grown. Delicate arches of shifting polychrome are interfacing with the TA ice. It's getting stickier, boy. Your boss has found some way of interfacing. He's trying to wipe our backup and information programs. Did we get anything? Yeah. The reason Straylight isn't exactly hopping with Tessier Ashpool is they're in cold sleep, most of them. There's a law firm in London that keeps track of who's awake. Who is around in there? As far as I can figure, only Lady Three Jane and Peter Riviera. There's a male, Eight Jane, on Earth. Oh, and there's uh, some kind of other thing. Uh, vat grown, I'd say. Some kind of family protector? Assassin. Ninja. That's bad. I figure Wintermute has something going with this three Jane. Either that or she's as crazy as an old man was. They keep screwing the security systems. Only problem is Armitage. This is Colonel Court, though. Case, I need your damage reports on Omaha Thunder. Colonel, now, look. Hang in there, son. Remember your training. Wintermute had installed something called Armitage in a catatonic fortress named Cordo. And now Armitage is gone, blown away by the winds of Cordo's madness. Case, we have been betrayed. No, Colonel, we can handle this. I am aborting the mission. I'm sorry, son. We're closing down. Colonel, Armitage, the goddamn poison. Remember the toxin. You promised. One of us has to survive. We have to testify about the traitors. Armitage, we gotta talk, all right? Don't do it. Uh, I'll tell him some. I'll tell him all of it, and I know I'll make it somehow, if only for you boys. Oh, Jesus, God, Armitage, no! Just stop it. Look, tell me the enzyme I need, man. Tell me. Tell me the enzyme. Oh, thunder is down. We have landed. No, man, that, that is not Finland. It's space, Armitage. You'll die out there. Armitage! Remember the training case. That's all. Come on. Come on.
You may leave the ship now. Wintermute! Do not do this to me! I can see Armitage, sucked from the ship, see his endless fall through space, spinning around the orbital in a vacuum colder than the steps. And for some reason, I see him in his dark Burberry, the trench coat's rich folds spread around him like the wings of some huge bat. The mission proceeds. Well, son? Armitage is dead. Wintermute killed him. Blew him out an open port. Still, you two weren't exactly asshole buddies, were you? He knew how to unbond the toxin sacks. So Wintermute knew too. Yeah, but somehow I don't exactly trust Wintermute. <laughs> ah, maybe that means you're getting smart at last. Do you mind not laughing? <laughs> Looky here, our program is almost home. He's right. The rainbow tints of the Quang arch through the green ice sheets of the TA cores. This baby takes all the drudgery out of the job. If this kind of stuff was on the streets, we'd be out of a job, Dix. You bet. There's something at the far end of one of the bridges. Non-geometric. I see it, but I don't know if I believe it. A brownish gnat against the green wall walking across the bridge made by the icebreaker. Gotta hand it to you, son. I never saw anything this funny when I was alive. <laughs> I never tried it before. Actually manifesting in the Matrix. You killed Armitage. Corto, yeah, yeah. He was already gone. Oh, don't worry about the enzyme hair case. You'll get it when the deal is done. Okay? Maybe two hours. You people, you're a pain, you know? How come? The Villa Straylight is a body grown upon itself. Each space here is secret. Its stairways like intestines, where the eye is trapped in narrow curves. Essay of Lady Three Jane Tessier Ashpool. Clever little kike, huh? That was her you saw in the restaurant. Yeah, well, she seemed to like Riviera. Sick little kike. Oh, she's grown up now. She wrote this when she was 12. Listen. At the villa's silicon core is a small room, the only rectilinear chamber in the whole complex. Here, on a plain pedestal of glass, rests an ornate bust, platinum and cloisonné, studded with lapis and pearl. The bright marbles of its eyes were cut from the synthetic ruby viewports of the ship that brought the first Tessier and the first Ashpool into space. Well? That's all she wrote. This thing, this head, it's a terminal of sorts. I need Molly with the right word at the right time. It doesn't mean a thing how well you and the Flatline disrupt their security unless the word is spoken aloud in the space of the room. So what's the word, Intermute? <laughs> Alas, I do not know, Hair Case. If I could touch you, I'd kill you! Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. Good luck. Hey, asshole, what about me? What about my payoff? Oh, you'll get yours. What you mean, Dix? I want to be erased, remember? Hang in there, buddy. I'm going to check on Molly. My leg's not so good. Endorphins keeping the pain low. It don't function so well. Could be trouble. She's walking a corridor. Look, if I don't make it out, if I buy it before Riviera does, just, just kill him for me, okay? Hell, I don't even know if you're listening anymore. It's been a long walk, Case. A long walk. Right there, out of the darkness. Biggest goddamn snake. A little welcoming hallucination from Riviera, I guess. She kicks a display unit. Trying to tell us something, Peter? Guess he can jack into these programs and leave a dream. Getting closer, huh? She. We move forward, passing more holograms. 
These must be from back in Stamble. Young women betrayed by Riviera to the torturers of the secret police. Molly looks away, and I'm thankful. And I know that if the time comes, I'll have no trouble doing what she asks. The entrance to Jane's world has no door. A ragged five-meter gash in the tunnel wall. Stairs, faint blue light, moving shadows.